Just in case you missed any of the content from Better Basketball this week, we've got you covered. It's now time for the Tribe Week in Review. Coaches can talk too much like coaches. We get used to coach speak, using familiar phrases that don't really convey specific information that players can use. So when I say, prove to me that you can guard the ball, prove to me that you're a level one defender, you need concrete goals that can be measured from possession to possession. And that happens simultaneously. The ball is inbounded here as this player breaks out. This player screens for this player. But everybody does that. You know, the five player or three player weave uh, towards the half line, and then you throw it into the post and let them go one on one. If the post is fronted, you lob it. One way to do that is to X cut when you feed the post and then pin screen with the remaining two. See, when you X cut, here we go, we'll put the ball here, feed the ball to the post, and we X cut. So this player is pulled into the screening action. They've got to figure out how to navigate this. This player is a threat to score on the ESP does not stand for extrasensory perception when you're talking about basketball. It stands for external signs of passivity. Ask a police officer and you'll find that when a person has their palms up, it's a sign that they're not a threat. It's an external sign of passivity. If they're palms